Today I'm going to show you how you can scan in barcodes and keep the information of the in and out private so that the, the rest of the people that are scanning in don't know what time the other person scanned in or scanned out. And so here we have a scan in sheet. And so I'm going to click in here and I'm going to type in, in my barcode and I'm going um, 1852. I'm going to press enter. And so then it gives you the name and has signed in at 11.45 a.m. and say OK, and then we're good, and then you're ready to scan in the next one. And the next one I'm going to scan in, I know that they're already in the system, so we'll get an out message for them. And so I'm going to scan uh, 4185. And there we have the name and has signed out at 11.45 uh, a.m. We say OK, and then you're ready for the next one. It's totally private. They can't see. They can't see what everybody else is scanned in and scanned out at. And so now let me show you the sheets that are hidden. So I have two sheets that are hidden here. One is actually um, giving you um, the name, the attendance of the people that are signing in. And so you have uh, their in and out times, the amount of time they've been here. And then you have your second sheet that's hidden, which is um, actually the names with the corresponding uh, barcodes or ID numbers with them. Okay, so let me go back to the scan in sheet. I have code in the sheet so that it goes automatically. And so what we're gonna do is go view code. And so here we have, um, private sub worksheet. And basically, if this one has anything in it, then call what I call secret access and then application enable events true. And that's as simple as the code is on this one. Okay, so now let's go look at the module. So here is my module, secret access. And then I have a whole bunch of things declared here. And then I have, uh, I set worksheet equals worksheet attendance, which is um, my sheet one, which is my report that's on there. So what it's going to do, we assume that it has a barcode he here, and you search for the barcode in your list. And if the barcode is not in the list here, if range is nothing, then you're going to make a new one. And then for each uh, cell, in worksheet column one, so that's column A, um, is the length uh, is zero, then go to exit. So if the barcode is, there's an error in the barcode, then you're gonna leave it. Um, so then it's gonna put active, active cell, which is your first column, which is A, is your barcode, and it's gonna have the same number format as what it did when you scanned it in. Okay, so now the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna search for the name associated with the barcode. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to sheet two, which is the names here. And then you search for the um, search for the barcode. And then um, if it's if you find that, then then the one offset, the offset is one, go over one. And that's the name. So now what we're going to do is so you have the barcode in A and you're putting the name in B. And now you're selecting the, the, um, the third cell. And then you're going to put in the date and time, and this is the format. Okay, and then you're going to create a message box saying uh, so and so has signed in, and this and the time is in there. I have now. I've called. I've called the date and time now. Okay, and now what it's gone is gone back to sheet three, which is our our scanning sheet, and then it's it's made that one blank, and then it's gone to the end of the. Um, end of the program. Now, if it is already there, so if it's already there, then what you do is you search for, you know the barcode's already there, but you're going to search for the last one. So if you look at this search, we're not searching, uh, we're changing the direction. Instead of Excel next, we're doing previous, so we're look, they're looking for the last one in the, in the list, being for the fact that they uh, are an employee could come in and then leave for coffee and come back and go for lunch and come back 
And so they, they could be in the list a number of times. So you want to have your out time being um, the la being the in time or the out time being the last one that, with the in time. Okay, so if cells, so when you find the last time the, the barcode is in there, and if there's already an out time in there, then what you're gonna do is go to restart and restart was right at the beginning um, at the beginning of just entering a new one. So now let's go down here again. Okay, so now sheet number, uh, row number, which is, which is the one that you found, select, active cell offset three select, and then you're gonna put the date in and the time in there. And then you're gonna calculate the difference of the date and the time and uh, time out value minus time in value. Okay, so now you are going to um, show a message box telling them exactly when they scanned out. Um, and then it says message box so-and-so has signed out and then given the time out. And so now we go, um, go back to sheet three, which is our scan in one, and we're making the scan in number blank. And then at the end, if we go back to and then we go back to sheet uh, sheet three, which is our scanning sheet, and we're making it blank again. And then we go to the end and ND. Uh, sheet three, activate, which is our scanning sheet, go back to that sheet. And then we're gonna make sure we select that cell so that it's ready to go for the next one. So that is how you make the time in and time outs hidden from people who are scanning in. I will, of course, include the, all of the code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.